Hi everyone, I just want to make a quick video showing you these two new plugins so that you can use them on your site. I know that some of you wanted to have more of a bootstrap uh, look for your site and this uh, these two plugins will help you accomplish that. Um, some of you wanted to have one page with all your sections in it like some of the bootstrap uh, sites that we had worked on and add some of the other bootstrap functionality and also automatically make any theme responsive. So the two um, themes that you want to install are the Easy Bootstrap Shortcode theme, I'm um, sorry, plugin, and the Easy Smooth Scroll Links plugin. And that's the one that's going to add this sort of smooth scrolling to the anchor that we'll talk about in a second. So once you get those installed and activated, you'll see a section for EBS settings here. I didn't change any of them. And then for the scroll links one, the ESSL settings is under regular settings. So if we go to a page, and I just added a new page on our um, class site that's uh, just a draft right now called test. And if we open up the page to edit it, once we activate that plugin, you'll see a whole line of new icons here that add the easy bootstrap functionality. Things like adding an accordion menu, adding all those cool columns, um, being able to add like panels and popovers, being able to add an icon shortcut or a tooltip or an icon heading um, or even a slider here to be able to put a picture at the top. So let me show you what I'm getting at here. Um, here's just the, what the page looks like. I added this cool slider that I have three pictures in that works with these arrows on the side. And then I have these headings that go across here and when we make them smaller, they should stack up. Um, to be responsive and I have a two column here, but then I added these tabs So you get to put a lot of additional content on the page and then in the other column. I just added a um, tweets and uh, So there's just a lot of things that you can add plus I added this button bar up here where I can have it nicely scroll to my different sections smoothly scroll to the different sections and I didn't do it on this, but I can show you how to do it. I can even have it where I put um, on the menu bar up here an item or several items that would scroll to the slider, the columns, and the social. So if some of you want to have your navigation in the regular nav bar, I can show you quickly how to do that. So here is the page that I've been working on, and you'll see these things called short codes. It's not really HTML. They are things in the square brackets, and when you use the icons, so let's say I want to add one of these column groups here. I'm going to add it and then I'll delete it. So you'll see what it looks like. I just say column shortcode and this nice interface comes up. It asks me how many columns I want to have. So if I want a four column section, I can have that. And then for the different sizes of the screens, I can determine what the column width should be. And remember we talked about things in regard to 12 units across the whole screen for the grid. So you could decide how many units you want each one of these four to be, how wide you want them to be. Um, so if I wanted them all to be the same, I could do that here. And then, you know, as it gets smaller, maybe I want them to be in smaller increments in those things. And so that's why I had it set up so that if it's really large, they'd be three, units in each one. When they're smaller, maybe I want to have six, 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 and six, and then that way they would be able to be on top of each other and then maybe have them on top of each other just one at a time um, in the small screen or the extra small screen. And don't worry about custom class. I mean, you can add a custom class to it so that you can add some stuff to your style sheet if you needed to. So I would say insert columns. And for this, it actually created this row. Each one is a row with a column in it, and each one of these columns would be able to have text in it. So if I were to create this just really quickly with um, the default code that's in it, and to say insert columns, you'll see it's not as big as what I just described there. I had, you know, would have a row with a column in it and some text. Um, but I have several columns here that I put some additional content in. Um, I have some Greeking. This is just fake text here, this Lauren Ipsum stuff, and I've got that in all just to kind of hold the place. So those are the three, those are the, that's the row with the four columns in it, and this determines the size. And I can even go in here and edit this now. I don't have to use the um, icons any longer. So one of the things that I added was an icon heading, 
and that's what this allows me to do. So I could click on that and I can pick the actual icon heading that I want, one of these glyph icons, and pick that and insert it and tell it what kind of a heading type I want it to be. If I want it to be an H1 or an H2, and that's what gives me these um, guys right here with the little um, icon next to it, next to what my heading would be. And so in addition to just the fake text, for the first one I added a button, and you can add a button right here with the button short code. So that's why this one also has a button at the bottom of it. And I added an icon type, and I did that with this guy over here, this icon short code. And I just inserted that so I could get these cool looking things. But I could put an image up here. Um, the cool thing is, is I can put an image and then it has this thing for um, uh, image responsive as well as image effects. The image effects lets you make a rounded image or square, or rounded or circle or thumbnail, just like we did when we were working with Bootstrap. So it just gives you some easy ways to add this functionality. Um, so that's my columns. I also added a slider and the slider's right here, so you just pick that and you talk about it, the interval. There are going to be defaults that are there. Um, and whether you want the navigation to show or bullets, um, if you want to pause on the hover and any sort of colors of things, but the main thing is here that you would um, upload your image for each image. So you have however many images you want to have in your slider and insert that, and then this is what it ends up looking like where we have the short code opening with the colors and controls and closing and then each title and each image within that. So it writes that for you and uh, I set that up within a very large column going across the page. So it would have to go across the page and so that's what this is at the top and you could do that with one image if you wanted to. And then the last column that I did, just another series of columns, I put a little horizontal rule in between them, and I did that with one of these tools up here. Can't remember where the horizontal, horizontal line right there. This looks like a line. Just stuck that in there so you can do things to separate them. But then I did another one, and this is where I did where it's like eight units wide, and then the other one is four units wide. And in here, if you look at um, the text in the HTML, you can actually see where I inserted the code for my Twitter widget. So that just gets stuck in that column. I got that from the Twitter website. And then on the eight, I ended up using some tabs. So back on the visual menu, there is a tab short code that I was able to use that inserts this tabs area and then I just was able to fill in the content for each tab, the title and the actual content. So again, it's just fake content that I have in here. So in the eight unit wide column, I have these tabs. Again, just a good use of space because we're having four different paragraphs here that are just taking up this one area. And then the four unit wide um, column has my Twitter widget. And then the last thing I did is I added this uh, button group up here so that I could have these links that when I click on them, they jump. These are anchor tags. And each one uh, just jumps down to a point on the page. And I do that up here at the top where I have the button group. And in each place, and if we look in the HTML, you can see this better. I've created the anchor and I gave them a name. So this one I just called, um, let's go here. The first one is called slider and I gave it an ID. So it's just a ID equals slider and you don't have to put anything in it. Just close the a tag. And then a little bit further down, I have one called columns and a little bit further down, I have one called social. So these are just anchors. You don't see them on the page. It's just a little code to say, here's the name of this area. And when I want to put them in a link, I make the link with, it's only just the hashtag and then the name of that uh, anchor. So uh, this is like putting a normal link. I could put a link to another page in here if I wanted to, but in this case, I just want it to jump. So it's hashtag slider, hashtag columns, hashtag social as the link for each one of these buttons. I could make these text links if I just wanted to do regular links. There are a couple other button type options here. And the other thing I could do if I wanted my, um, my links to the anchors to actually be in my main navigation bar is I can work in the menus 
And uh, let me save what I've done here. Just so I don't lose anything. I can go under Appearance, Menus, and there's a way in your menus for you to add links. So here, the normal menu structure just gives you links to other pages on your site, but we can always add any kind of link we want. In this case, we're not going to an HTTP. We might be just going to Social on this page, and then I would put the text that I wanted to say Social, and I would say Add to Menu. And that would also function as a link that would take you there. I would say really kind of plan out your site and your menu structure because I wouldn't use these things on your main navigation unless they all were going to function kind of the same way. Let's say your whole site is one page. And I think some of you are trying to do that. And then last but not least, um, once you have these anchors and the links to the anchors installed, and then you install that um, plugin for the easy scroll to link this one here easy smooth scroll links you go into the settings for the easy smooth scroll links and you can come in here and pick the effect so i found one problem well a couple of problems one of the problems is i had to play with some of these effects because i didn't like some of the ways that they worked and so just spend time with that this easy out quint seems fine but the other thing i found is once i installed this my slider stopped working. And think about it, that slider is also a link to an anchor and it was freaking out because it couldn't advance my pictures. So I just went into the code and I found that the href was to this, pound ositas, that's the name of the company, dash slider. And it's like for each slider that you'd have it be dash one, dash two. So that's why it's exclude anchors beginning with. And so that way it won't affect my slider. And I just saved that. And so now we have this nice site, nice page. There's a ton more that you could do with a page like this. I mean, I just spent a few minutes setting up stuff like this so that you could see some of the options. Obviously, each one of these areas could have um, a background image that you could assign through the class. Um, but I just wanted to point out some of the main features that we had talked about that were bootstrap features. And of course, you know, for this button that I have here, you could have that go to a different part of the site, to a different page. Um, you would just figure out where you want that to go. Um, so this gives you an idea. There, there are a bunch more things on here when you go to the pages or the posts and you try to work with some of the effects for Bootstrap and you should feel free to try those out. Things like the accordion menu um, and try out you know, any one of these and see how you can get it to work. Again, I'll be in the lab all next week and in my office some of the time if um, I'm not available in the lab or if the lab's not open. Um, so come by and see me and I can help you integrate a lot of these tools. Okay, good luck.